One of the main goals with the Gantt is to create a view that is easy to read. The easiest way to achieve optimum readability is through the use of correct symbols and we're going to talk about that in this chapter. We're going to start with creating a new symbols to really see how symbols work. So let's go up to the data tab and click symbols. Then we click the new button and give the symbol a name. Then we set the span of the symbol. Here you see a series of available dates for use as the start and end date. You just scroll, scroll through the list till you find the fields you're looking for. We're going to use the early start and finish dates, which is the default, and, and the same as our early symbols is using. Then we move over to the symbols tab. Here you design how the symbols should look. First you choose how you want the, symbol, the bar to look like. Let's choose the top adjusted. Then you choose the pattern and the color. Let's choose yellow and the gradient type pattern. So now we created a new symbol. Remember to click the visibility box in the generals tab. So let's click apply. You can now see the, the uh, symbol above the early symbol in the Gantt chart. If you go back to the symbol setup window and then move over to the text tab, we can add text to our symbol. This will appear next to your symbol. In the Generals tab, you can add a filter to the symbol. If you want the symbol to be visible on some activities, you can create a filter and then apply it to the symbol. 